hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be trying out the dose of colors meet your hue foundation and right now i have my brows done i have lip gloss on and i'm rocking rocking my shop clear zodiac sign necklace that's what it looks like cute cute i'll leave the link to her shop in the description box Hello, let's get into this video. So I just applied one eyeshadow color to my whole eye because I'm taking Instagram pictures when I'm done. And um, so if it looks a lot, that's why. <laughs> I'm still gonna go out like this. I don't care. But anyway, I use the Stargazer pigment in the color 205, and it's pink in the container, but it translates. So orange on my eye i don't know why it still looks cute moving on yeah my face is a little bit parched because when i applied the pigment i had to wipe off the then downfall <laughs> wipe off the um, fallout yeah i'm just gonna apply moisturizer and i'm using the drunk elephant Proteiny polypeptide cream yeah, and it's described it is described as a breakthrough protein moisturizer combines an unprecedented array and concentration of single peptides growth factors support amino acids so basically it improves skin tone texture and firmness yeah and someone asked me for a skincare routine that's probably going to be the next video that i post so i haven't forgotten and i just found this one previously so i'm going in order of how my videos were already had for primer i'm going to use the fancy beauty true matte pro filter matte frame primer this is my primer of choice today because i am actually going out it is gonna be 27 degrees and i want um my makeup to last all day and I'm I am using a matte foundation so I feel like this will go really well with the foundation. I love this primer. If you haven't tried it I have a good my matte prime matte fan primer that does not make your face like excessively dry. I suggest this one. It applies like a moisturizer and it mattifies your face. So what are the claims on our darling foundation? I got the foundation in the shade 137 Deep. It's from Dose of Colors. It's the Meteor Hue foundation. I believe this is the first foundation that they launched and the only foundation they have on their page right now. So it's a high pigment, matte finish, buildable, lightweight, long wear foundation. It's supposed to reduce the appearance of fine lines and skin imperfections. The website describes it as having warm neutral undertone. So I'm going I got the sponge from the website but I'm going to use the sponge to apply concealer because I like a brush for foundation. That's what it looks like against my skin. Let's start with one pump first and see how far the one pump goes. Guys, I had to match my foundation online and it was a heart-wrenching experience but I'm loving the shade that I got like look at that <laughs> I did the damn thing <laughs> but yeah that's what my face looks like I'm loving the coverage that is giving oh my god that looks mm, like I love it already those of colors did them thing. <laughs> I like it. She can hang, she can join like the favorites or whatever. You know. My face looks smooth as real. I love it. Yeah. So for concealer, I'm starting off with the Morphe concealer in C4.55. This is what the sponge looks like. It came in packaging too and it is called the Seamless Beauty Sponge. It is paraben free, latex free, diet free, sulfate free, pilot free. I must say the sponge is so, I must say the sponge is so freaking soft and I can't wait to use it on my face. I 
Then you will blend it up. This concealer looks really nice. I do think it's a little bit flimsy though for it's getting the job done really well. I you I'm using the Morphe concealer in C5 C5.55 to contour to set the highlighted areas I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder in deep peach and i'm still using the same sponge i'm just going to use the clean side too my only problem with this sponge is that this area is so thin and the sponge is so soft that this flame but aside from that it's a really soft nice sponge To set the rest of my face, I want to use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the 40. If the part of the um, um, video that is not foundation seems rushed, it's because I have somewhere to go and I feel like you guys don't really care about this part. But if you do care about the um, products that I use when I do over the foundation when I do reviews, leave a comment in the description letting me know. And I'll take my time when I'm applying this product so you guys can get the best of it. I'm just going to finish up my eyes and I'll be right back to do the rest of my face. I'm going to try what I saw Jackie Aina doing in her recent video, the video with Pat McGrath stuff. And she put blush and then she put bronzer over the blush. So I'm using my e.l.f. palette as per usual, and I'm gonna use. I feel like I need to this like a pinky shade, but this looks a bit dull, so I'm still gonna mix it with, with this shade. And I'm still leaving the powder on because when I put this on, it's gonna wipe off a bit of that powder, and then the blush ends up like not staining like below this line. You get me. And then for my bronzer, I'm using this shade from the Spice Market palette. Urban Decay All Night Hair Setting Spray since I'm actually heading out today. Even when I'm not heading out, I use it honestly. But yeah, today someone told me that yo, you're using such an expensive spray just to film and clean your face up. But yeah, today I'm actually heading out, so I'm using it. <laughs> I actually got two lip glosses from Dose of Color. I got the lip gloss in the shade Tough Cookie and I also got the lip gloss in the shade Hot Cocoa. And lip gloss formulas are cruelty free, gluten free and paraben free. Today I'm going to just use Tough Cookie. Well, I'm lining my lips with the LED Lip Pencil in Cocoa. And they smell so good. I love that. I use the Lose of Colors Day Plus in Tough Cookie. This is my first time trying it out. Mm, I love the formula and yeah. That's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. So far the foundation feels really comfortable with my face. I like the color match. It matches my chest very well. If you don't know my neck and my face are that my chest and I try to make my face to my chest, not my neck. That's just how I like it. Do what you like and, and yeah. <clears throat> I'll let you know at the end of the day maybe um, how this foundation held up. 
thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video so hold up i'm back guys um i left for the day at about 1 30 pm which is like about when i did doing my makeup and now it's 7 30 pm actually 7 17 but like i've made this makeup for six hours and girl girl i used the bus i used the train it's 27 degrees outside look at my face i still look smashed air i still look like i'm that bitch like if a nigga try to talk to me ma'am you're on the wrong side of the road no you on the wrong side of the road ma'am what you trying to say nah, um, i thought so <laughs> y'all couldn't tell me nothing with this foundation on if you've been thinking about grabbing this foundation and you have oily skin you better and it's so lightweight like like my face feels great I don't know if it says transport for fun thingy, but it's literally nothing on my hand and yeah, I feel good. The lip was wiped all up, but that was expected, you know, had a couple of drinks and um, ate a couple of sandwiches. But on that note, I'm going to try the other lip gloss color. This one is Coco. I love this gloss from Lights. It's unmatched. <laughs> I just want to show you guys what the color looks like. And uh, yeah. Bye. <laughs>